Now this just in, a noise debate in Tampa is getting louder once again. Six months ago, Tampa City Council passed a noise ordinance for both vehicles and noise coming from houses and establishments in the city. Well, the conversation has come up again because some say the hefty fines just aren't working. Laura Harris is live at City Hall now in downtown Tampa with the latest on this uh, next course of action. Laura? Well, Dan, back to the drawing board, so to speak, that conversation wrapping up just a short time ago in City Council Chambers. I can tell you, basically, the council members were telling us today, whatever the ordinance says right now, it's just not doing enough. We're, we're getting too many calls from residential communities about the noise. Councilman Frank Reddick, like other Tampa City Council members, says it's time to tighten the reins on the noise ordinance, saying he has personally heard instances in Tampa where the music coming out of homes and or stores is entirely too loud. Councilman Harry Cohen agrees, acknowledging the strides forward in the last six months, but also noting the ordinance isn't completely taking care of the issue. While I think that, that uh, we've, we've made a lot of progress in the noise coming out of the cars, I think we still have work to do in terms of controlling the noise that's actually on the streets themselves. The Tampa Police Department says it seems the new rules are working on their end. In July, same time, we were averaging 29 uh, versus December. Uh, we were only averaging 16, 45% decrease. That's for vehicle noise violations, though. Captain Ward recognizing as public awareness to the ordinance increases, the citations decrease because the tickets, they're not cheap. First offense, $150. Second offense, it doubles. And then the third offense, you're looking at $450. And while it may be true there has been a decrease in citations issued for residences and establishments, both the Tampa Police Department and the city's legal department recognize the calls for service can be decreased even more. It's just a matter of how to do it. We would like to come back to you with a reformatted ordinance that is simple and easy for the officers to use. Uh, that ordinance, as it is right now, it does not apply to special events like Gasparilla, which we all know, that big parade happening this weekend. Live in downtown Tampa, Laura Harris, ABC Action News.